Um, Tony didn't die. No, Tony died by Pardo's hand. But yet, the son kills Tony. Supposedly. Unless he just critically wounds Tony, but kills the other two. But kills the others. That was Cory. So Cory's dead now. Oh, he was like jumping through the walls. Yeah, you can see the mask there. Alright. However, all their bodies were in the same room, so yeah, that makes no sense to me. Whatever. Shit. I have one shot left for the remaining dog, I think. Yes. Whew. Can't let that go to waste. Otherwise, I need to die because I can't kill this fucking thing. Yeah! And now we're out in the wild. To kill us a beast. Yeah, this is Tony. Roar! He actually really fucking scared me because he jumps at you. And it's like, I'm, I was really unprepared when I first played, so I was just like, what the fuck? Quite a lot of the game made me jump. It still makes me jump because it's just like the loud noises, mostly. Like the gunshots. And this is, I would say the hardest, but it really depends. This is the twins. Yeah, this is Ash and Alex. There's one. And there we go. That's everything done. We've finished the game. Well, kind of. We haven't, because we need to, we need to play a mission called Abyss, which is Evan's final mission. And here we go, that's the game. Am I, can I skip these? Nope. What about, enter. No. What? No way. I thought you could skip them. Like, after you'd completed the game, I'm sure you could skip them. Somehow. You'd think you'd be able to. Unless... No, rewind and eject are the only things that are on there. We need to watch the uh, credits because it leads into something anyway. However, I'd rather if it was quicker. I don't know how long it's going to take. Like, I'm tempted on timing it. Like, it started at probably 1 hour 24 minutes and... I'll just say 1 hour 24 minutes, so it was probably sooner than that, but whatever. But that game's fucking amazing. I know it's it's frustrating, but it's just... Like, I get frustrated at games. It doesn't mean I hate the game, regardless of what I say. I'm just really impatient with learning games, really. But I am working on it, trying to, by playing games that I wouldn't normally play that require a lot of patience. And I actually quite enjoy them. I just, I don't know, I don't know what it is with the whole like impatience which leads to getting really annoyed. I don't, I don't know why. Right, there's the end of the credits, so what? Well, the first credits, there's two sets. That only took a minute. And 20 seconds. But yeah, we got more dialogue. But yeah, I don't know what it is with the whole like being impatient but also getting pretty pissed off with stuff. Uh, it doesn't happen with like games you'd think it would, like puzzle games. But, whatever. With this it did, but that's mostly because it's retrying the same thing over and over. But this game's kind of like Dark Souls, in the sense that once you get past it, holy crap it's a great feeling because it's just, it's incredibly rewarding, like the feeling that you have. It's just like, oh wow, awesome. <laughs> I can't believe I might I can't believe I managed to get past it, sort of thing. Oh shit. The president's been assassinated. The president was shot and killed. The Russian president was also shot dead. Okay. That's not good. The leader of the uprising appears to be a US Army Wait. Does that mean Beards? Beards General. The guy that wore the Panther thingy on his head? Jaguar, whatever the hell it was. Can't have been. I mean, it was kind of out of his face, but... Or off his mind, but whatever. I just realised what I just said made no sense. It would have been out of his mind or off his face. Not off his mind and out of his face. Oh well. 
Oh, great Richard's here for a chat. All right, buddy. They don't last. Oh, I knew that was coming. I've completed this game like fucking ten times in the past three days. <laughs> and that's not even a joke. Which is why I'm confused why you can't skip the credits. Uh-huh. Are they on to me? Oh no, this, this is much worse. Not long. Nobody does. The reason... I need to, I nearly called him Dick. The reason the rooster, or Richard, says that is because of what happened with the presidents. Because they said it was, it will be seen as an act of war against Russia. Russia counterattacks with something. And that something is this. Also known as a nuke. Which is the same thing that took out Beard. And it's the same thing that's gonna take out, or that does take out, everybody! Dum dum ksh. Dum dum ksh. Anyway. Yeah, there Evan is. Right in the book. Only to get wiped out. Oh dear. Ah. It's only just taken an hour and a half, so yeah. This has been much quicker. I don't know how. And yeah, I think Pardo was not innocent. I didn't think he was anyway, because he did kill some people. Like, we played as him to kill people. But the fact that he's barricaded his door, and has a gun constantly pointed at his door, makes me think that something's up. But these credits don't take long at all, so I'll let them play out. But yeah, it'll be about an hour and a half by the time these credits are finished, and then we've got Abyss. We've got Abyss to finish, or to do, which is basically the tie-up to Evan's story. He basically finds out some stuff that Jake found out, which is what I did off-screen, because I fucked up on-screen, essentially. And then, yeah, I think that's supposedly the hooker. Or Jacket's girlfriend. I don't know though. Speaking of the man himself, Jacket, he will be making a feature appearance any second now. I hope. Jacket, where are you, buddy? Come on, Jacket, don't make me do this. Don't make me look like an idiot. Jacket, I know you're there. I'm sure I've already seen you. El Huervo. Jacket, there you are, you bastard. I don't know what he's doing though. And even he gets wiped out. Wait, he had a Bible on his desk, and the last time I completed the game, he had a a book open. Weird. And then the, the, the time before that, he had multiple notes on his desk. Strange. No, that's over. Can I skip it? No? Alright then. <laughs> okay. But well, Abyss will take a bit of time, I think, maybe. Hmm. Honestly, it really just depends. Hmm. With Abyss. I might get really lucky, or I might be really bad. However, I only played it like two hours ago, so I think I'll have the patterns down. And we'll also have enemy placement down. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway. Onward! Yeah, the reason why I said I thought it was all filmed is because, look, VHS. Like, cases. Anyway, Abyss. Here we go. Uh, yes. Uh, skip intro? No, because we've not seen the intro. Here we are, playing as Evan. Which kind of makes this last part suck, because we can't kill anybody. Because it's Evan, he doesn't kill anyone. You can make him go into like a blood rage. Somehow. I don't fucking remember how though. However, if you do go into a blood rage, you can only use your fists. But it's like an instant kill, I think. I can't remember. Uh, 
Okay. No. Right. Back to the taxi we go. Here we go. The Abyss. Welcome to the Abyss. Oh, wait. <gasps> this is phone home. Hmm. This is phone home. And this is really fucking ominous. Holy shit. What the? Ah, oh, that was creepy. This is really fucking ominous, though. What the heck? Whoa. Okay. Are these all the masks from the first game? Like with the wolf? Richard? Don Juan? Oh man, this is awesome. The walrus, Earl! Oh wow, the monkey. Fucking A. Oh, it's so cool. Haha. <laughs> this is like a fucking ritual. Forced to do something we don't want to. Yeah, I can't actually. Oh my God, fuck you. Fuck everything. No, I want to just become some fucking roided up beast so I can use a fucking weapon. That is all I want. Is it so much to fucking ask? It's really annoying. Like, I don't get why Evan's such a pansy anyway. Clearly, he's not, because he can use fucking weapons and shit, but. Fuck me. It's a bullshit. Straight up, bull fucking shit. What the heck was that? Great. They can't even fucking shoot straight. That's useful. Oh, whatever. Fuck off. Okay. Holy crap. Really? Could ever not be like some sort of super badass and like have infinite ammo and everything? I mean that'd make things so much nicer. It really would. Oh well. I made it so far to the next room as well. I'd say that's the most annoying part. Oh ho, oh, fuck you. Really? Oh fuck. Well, I'm out of guns. Actually no I'm not. No, I'm a fuck. Thank Christ. Now I don't have to worry. I managed to do this the first time without killing anybody. Honestly, no fucking idea how. No, I have no idea. Like, I'm really confused as to how the hell I did it. Oh, fuck. Ah, now I die. Yay. What am I doing? Yeah, fuck off. Right, okay. Okay. Fuck. Ooh. Okay. This is what sucks, I'd say. Holy shit, with weapons this is so much fucking easier. Jesus Christ. Like, it, it, a much nicer thing. However, yeah that didn't work. Fuck, 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 oh my god. If I could hit the guy, it'd be perfect. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. Bah. Okay. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? Of course, my one fucking bullet. Oh no, no, my many bullets miss. But his one bullet hits. That's what I mean. It's annoying. The game really fucking is annoying. But it is rewarding at the same time, so it kind of, I would say, makes up for it. But it really fucking doesn't. It's just really douchey with some of the shit they pull off. 
I'll try to. Well, no, the, the shit they do pull off. Uh-oh. Fuck you. There's two guys. Three guys, four guys. There's another. Boop. And boop. Oh, wait. One bullet left for you. Yes. Oh, one shell, I should say. And there's one guy left. And now we're fucking done. Thank Christ. Hallelujah. God fucking damn. That was so annoying. God, Jesus. Like, I may cut out. The first freaking the first few attempts but we'll see jesus that was not fun it only took 11 wait so i had really i only had two minutes of retries that's not bad yeah maybe i'll keep it in i mean i said i'd keep in the hotline miami shit though so when it comes to the like deaths and crap but yeah that's the end of Hotline Miami 2 Wrong Number, so yeah. As always, I hope you've enjoyed, and until next time, take care.